A Bay Area father-son team says it has broken a world record with a high-altitude balloon. The California Near Solar Project was started by pool repairman Ron and Lee Meadows. They launched a balloon in San Jose Sunday morning that hit an altitude of 136,500 45 feet before landing in Manteca a few hours later. Now, Ron joins us in studio tonight along with Ian Cleft, who is a member of the Stratus Fox tracking and recovery team. First, congratulations. Great, thank, thank you. you. And Ron, so you were, you did this with your son. It took you mm -hmm. eight tries, but you didn't right. give up and it paid off on Sunday. Talk to me about how this all works. Um, it was kind of a long process. Uh, we started off sending up balloons into the stratosphere to get pictures of uh, the Earth's curvature uh, to get our equipment up that high, which we felt was amazing. And then mm -hmm. we became slightly obsessed with altitude. <laughs> we wanted to... Uh, higher, better. Higher, yeah. And we had to lighten the payloads. We had to change the gas. We had to get bigger balloons. We had to really go over the lift to weight ratios uh, quite a bit. What was the previous record? The previous record was held by Cornell University at 135,030 feet. So you beat it by just 1, about... 1,515 feet. And that was, you said, 100,000 feet higher than airplanes 100, fly? 100,000 feet higher than airliners go. Amazing. Yeah. So what we're looking mm -hmm. at here, if I may... This is it. This is, you said, the payload, right? This little styrofoam... Right. That's the transmitter Calm. antenna yeah. that we yeah, were tracking. It hangs okay. the other way around. Okay. That's the line that goes up to the balloon. All right, attached to a giant balloon, and mm -hmm. hopefully we have some pictures of that. So explain what this part does, Ian. This helps you track the balloon, right? Yeah, so actually the transmitter that they built was transmitting stuff that we were, it, by ham radio. You can get an FCC license and do this and just be part of a space program yourself. And so okay. we were following this in our vehicles driving down the roads, receiving the packets from it, watching it's going up, it's going up. Oh, we lost contact with it. It might have popped. And then, uh, then the excitement began. It's like an Easter egg hunt, except yeah. you have radios to try and track this thing mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. But not everything goes right. We actually had no transmissions at all on the way down. We had to guess where it was going to fall. And we actually got within a mile, and one of our people saw it fall. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. It's, that's, Amazing, that was really because lucky. this is not an easy thing to spot in the sky, no, this little no, white no. piece of styrofoam. Right. And we You've saw got some it eagle eyes on the there. Okay, so how do you put something like this together, and how much does it cost? Because I understand it is a hobby for you and your son, right? You repair yes, pools is. for a living. Yep. Um, this, what's in the package is a tracking system, roughly around $300. And, um, you know, then you have balloon gas. Uh, depending on the size of the balloons, that can get really expensive, some not quite as expensive. Um, this balloon was a newer technology that seemed to be doing well for others, and then we pushed the limits. My son and I there write... There it is. That's what okay. we're looking at right there. Is yes. that your garage? Y that's a um, garage that um, uh, they let us come in and fill indoors because we can't have the wind blowing the balloon around. We built a scale with a floating arm oh. at that we can measure the balloon's lift down to one one hundredth of a pound. And what's inside the balloon? Is it helium? Or what do you We, we went to hydrogen. Hydrogen. Oh, yeah. okay. So it can be kind of dangerous, too. Flammable. It, it, it can be if you don't understand it and you don't do the right things. Okay. But we're perfectly safe with it. Of course. So and let's talk don't about... Don't try that at home. No, don't try that at <laughs> home. With, well, it's a hobby and, you know, it doesn't right. sound like you spent a whole lot of money, but you were up right. against a team of Cornell students, right, that had spent thousands of dollars. Right, right. Yeah, they, they didn't even use the same class of balloon. They used a zero-pressure balloon that um, was probably about a $12,000 balloon. I inquired to get one mm -hmm. and... Um, uh, so I, I knew what they flew and, and the cost, and we did it about one one-hundredth of the cost. Yeah, and you won. That's great. Yeah. And you set mm -hmm. the new record. Right. Ian, talk to us about the Near Solar, I'm sorry, the California near, near, near Solar. Space. Near, near Space, space Project. Space project. Yeah. Okay. It's nearly My apologies. in space. Ah, okay. Yes. So what is the goal of that project? Well, that's, he's, he's with the near, California Near Space Project, right. and I'm with the Stratofox Aerospace Tracking Team. And so we hunt rockets and balloons. Uh, we help out the guys who build them because they don't always have... Uh, people who've been lo tracking lots of these things and quite often people don't think about this until they get to the point of flying. <laughs> right. And then, and then you go, where did it and, go? And if they already have a team, we can augment it. If they didn't have a team, we can be their team. So it's a hobby, but what are the practical applications? Are there any? Oh, oh yeah. sure. I yeah, mean, definitely. whether uh, they're being sent up every day all across the U.S. for the weather conditions for um, for flying. 